Um, all right, so just to show you guys how I actually use the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con um, as a shortcut keyboard for, you know, for my work process. Um, I'm using uh, Clip Studio Paint, but I'm pretty sure you can do the same on Photoshop. I mean, I set up my Photoshop uh, shortcuts just so it works exactly like it does on Clip Studio, okay? Um, I believe you can have up to 15 shortcuts using just one Joy-Con. Uh, I'm assuming that, like, considering you can um, assign one shortcut for each of the four directions in the, you know, analog stick. Okay, so for example, okay, so I'm working on this picture and if I, okay, so I just draw a line and you can use any of these buttons for undo, for example, you know, in my case, I'm using this one. So yeah, that's undo. And this other one I use for redo, okay, undo, redo, because I'm always holding the, the Joy-Con like this, so it's kind of easy to reach those shortcuts. Um, I use the L button for canvas flip, right? And uh, ZL, I use that as a shortcut to pick any color on the screen. Uh, this is the way Clip Studio does it. Uh, I'm pretty sure in Photoshop it, it, it probably is a bit different. Uh, anyway, so if I press up on the analog stick and while pressing up, if I just drag my pen to the right, I'm gonna zoom uh, zoom in. I'm not touching the screen with the pen, I'm just like, you know, hovering. And if I'm still holding up, if I drag to the left, I'm gonna zoom out. So, you know, like, I do that all the time. You know, I'm drawing something, then I zoom out, zoom in, you know, it's quite natural. Um, if I um, hold right on the analog stick and while doing that, like I hover the pen to the right, I'm going to increase brush size. And if I do that and hover to the left, I'm going to decrease brush size. Right? So again, I do that all the time. If I... Um, this is just how I do it, but but if I hold down um, and hover the tablet pen anywhere, I'm gonna drag the active layer. You know, so this head is in a different layer, as you can see. So I'm just like holding down on the analog stick, and while doing that, I'm hovering the pen anywhere in the screen. So I'm just dragging that layer with me. Okay. And now if I hold left on the analog stick and if I just hover the pen anywhere, I'm gonna rotate canvas, you know? I'm not touching the screen yet. I'm just like keeping the pen really close to it, right? And I press the minus button, button you know, this one here, to, um, you know, reset the canvas. Like if it, if it was flipped and it flips back to normal, zooms back to, you know, so I can see the whole picture and so on. Okay, so I still have, you know, like these four buttons here and this little guy over here. Um, so for the up button, I, if I'm not mistaken, um, oh yeah, I select the previous brush in my tool preset, right? And down goes to the next one as you can see, right? Uh, the left button hides the, the whole interface thing, just, you know, so I can see the whole picture and nothing else uh, in my way. And I think the the right one, oh yeah, it just switches between black, white, and transparent color. This is something on Clip Studio. Uh, I don't think you can do that on Photoshop though. But yeah, as you can probably see, uh, right here, it's switching colors, right? And the screenshot button, if I'm not mistaken, 
it oh yeah if I keep it pressed I can draw straight lines yeah something like that I wish we could like draw um, straight lines like you do in Photoshop it's so much better it's one of the very few things I complain about Clip Studio but oh well um, let me see what else I think if I press the analog stick like I'm not just moving any direction I'm just like pressing I'm showing the top menus like I usually keep them hidden but if I yeah if I press this button I'm gonna like either show or hide those the top menu but yeah you know you can customize it like however you like the soft uh, the software we use for customization is really good because it just allows you for so many possibilities it's crazy uh, as people have said on my Twitter uh, the tweet where I talk about this, uh, the software is called Joy2Key. I think you can get, download it at joy2key.net, right? So, as you can see here, like it's, you know, see that if I press any button, like it shows exactly what button is being pressed, right? So, for example, I double click in any of the, the buttons and you can assign a combination of many keys like for example there's here we see control the mouse left click I can I could still add two other keys like in this combination so you can pretty much do many different things like it's amazing like it's awesome for you know creating the perfect shortcuts and increase your productivity right guys uh, oh yeah, uh, I think, uh, I don't know, at least it happens to me and other people I asked, uh, they told me the same thing. When you're using the Joy-Con paired uh, to your computer, like these LEDs, they keep flashing like this. I haven't found any way to disable this yet. Like, if you guys figure something out, you can always let me know, I'll be thankful. Uh, and yeah, I still don't know how long the battery lasts. You know, I've been using like this for hours now and so far it's still working. Um, but yeah guys, I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy and yeah, uh, I hope it, you know, improves your productivity a lot. So yeah, uh, oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys.